So I think all of us can agree as Star Wars fans that Rogue One is definitely the best Disney produced Star Wars movie and in turn guys that means the Lego Rogue One minifigures are also very very sought after and a lot of people do like them. In today's video I'll be going over the most expensive Rogue One minifigures that you guys might have in your collection. Let's talk about it. So yes guys, welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars expensive minifigure video. In today's video, we'll be going over the top 10 most expensive Rogue One minifigures. So uh, yeah guys, I'm doing this in honor of the Andor series. I figured this would be a good little one to do. As uh, always guys, before I get into this list real quickly, I just wanted to state that this entire video is based off of BrickLink.com prices, and it is based off of just the USA domestic prices. I, you know, I live in the USA personally, most of my audience lives in the USA according to my analytics, so I like to base these videos just off of this price. Uh, so if you guys live in a different country, or if you guys find an occasional deal on eBay, uh, some of these prices might be a little bit different, but this is just based off of the USA prices. Altogether, there's 37 minifigures that LEGO produced for the Rogue One movie, and uh, yeah, that being said guys, let's get into number 10. So starting off with number 10 guys, we actually have a minifigure that uh, this thing went up in value very, very crazily all of a sudden. Uh, that being the Scarif Stormtrooper or, you know, the Shore Trooper uh, Captain version. So there's three versions of the Shore Trooper. Number 10 is just the Captain right here. He came out on the TIE Striker back in 2016, of course. And uh, right now, you're looking at about $20 used and roughly $25 to actually a little more than $30 realistically for some new ones. So I actually made this list about three nights ago, and just between the three nights ago and when I'm actually filming this now, there these prices are even going up a little bit more uh, compared to what I had on my list. And and someone is definitely buying up all these Scarif Stormtroopers. It is not me. I've only got like nine of them all together, including all different three types. And uh, all of a sudden, guys, let's just say the other two Scarif Stormtroopers are also on this list, but much, much higher. But the Captain right now, guys, you'll be paying about $25 if you guys even want one of them. So rest in peace to any Scarif mock ideas. If you guys want Scarif Stormtroopers on there, since I'm more than likely it's not going to happen. Unless you're that guy that bought them all up, but let's move on to number 9, guys. Alright guys, so moving on to number 9 and actually number 8. They're both the same character, and ironically they share the exact same price as well. Uh, that being Cassie and Andor in the dark blue coat and the reddish brown coat. Uh, basically for either one of these, you guys will be paying roughly $30 for a used or a new condition uh, minifigure. It was definitely a minifigure that had a big spike when the Andor series was first announced. And uh, for a while there was kind of settling out uh, pretty low. Uh, there were some people that definitely had a whole bunch of them. But actually right now the market's pretty tight on them on USA Bricklink. And uh, for either one, uh, you know, my number 9 or the the number eight uh, both uh, outfit and doors you're paying about $30 for uh, either one of them let's move on to number seven guys so moving on to number seven guys we actually have another version of a stormtrooper that uh, most of us probably wish we had a whole bunch of them but knowing this price right now we'll probably never be able to get too many of them this is the death trooper commander that came out in the chronic shuttle and right now guys you'll be paying about $30 for a used one and uh, roughly $45 for a new one so that's definitely pretty crazy, guys, and uh, I know, again, at that point, pretty hard to army build them. I guess for the commander, you don't really need too many of them. Uh, realistically, maybe only one or two of them. And uh, luckily, the regular Death Trooper is still hanging around like $10 to $12, so at least a little bit cheaper, you know, if you guys want to pick up 20 of them. But before I speak too soon, guys, who knows, that same guy that came in and bought a whole bunch of Scarif Stormtroopers might actually go up and buy these uh, Death Troopers, so uh, definitely get these before it's too late, guys. I don't doubt for a second uh, the commander and the regular Death Trooper will go up even more especially because we saw them in the Andor trailer they might actually make a pretty big appearance in the Andor series so let's move on to the next one guys moving on to number six guys we have another version of a stormtrooper this is actually the regular uh shore trooper right here and uh, just more solidifies my point of army building these guys is basically impossible right now uh since uh, this minifigure here is going for about 30 dollars used and uh, i'm not kidding when i say it about 40 to 45 dollars new uh, just for a regular shore trooper. So, so like I said, guys, basically at this point, impossible to make an army of these guys, especially the regular shore trooper that, like, arguably, you know, you want the most of. Uh, this guy right here is absolutely insane right now. Let's get on to the next one, guys. So moving on to the halfway point, guys, we actually have another shore trooper right here, the last one on the list, and actually the third one altogether, uh, that being the Scarif Stormtrooper Leader in a poly bag. And uh, it's basically $25 to $35 if you guys want it out of the poly bag, and uh, pushing about $40 to $45 in the poly bag. And uh, this is another one that just prime example. I'm not kidding when I say uh, I got, uh, I think, four of them from a guy uh, for a pretty good deal like a couple months ago, and I went to go sell three of them and keep one for myself. I sold the three I had, like I said, I think about 60 days ago, if that, maybe even like 40 days ago, uh, for about $22 each, brand new in the bag, and uh, that was even a little bit more expensive. You know, I like to sell my Star Wars stuff just a little bit more expensive, you know, a little bit of a premium on top since, like, again, it means a lot more
more to me where you know I'd rather get that extra couple bucks for it and if someone really wants to pay me that price you know I'll sell it for that so even then you know back then it was like realistically like a 19 to 20 dollar poly bag and just now in about a month and a half it's gone up you know double uh, sealed in the bag and of course sealed is always gonna be more rare and uh, guaranteed new you know, definitely an insane price, and if you guys need a leader for your short troopers, pick one up right now since it's not going to get any cheaper, guys. So next up, guys, we got Jin Urso with her poncho that came in the U-Wing back in 2016. And uh, this one is a very cool minifigure, very accurate. And it's really that poncho that is driving up the price because there's really nothing else too crazy about the minifigure. But right now, guys, in today's market, you guys will be paying about $35 used and about $45 to $50 for a new one. And, uh, you know, definitely it's, it's understandable, I feel, you know. And I personally think it's a very cool minifigure. You know, I think it's definitely for a new condition one, you know, justifiable at that, you know, say $45 to $50 range. Let's move on to the top three, though, guys. All right, guys, so coming down to the top three right here, we have K2SO at number three. And uh, right now, guys, he's going for about $40 used and about $60 new. And uh, right here, it's already, again, a very, very awesome minifigure. They did a very good job with, you know, K2SO. Uh, only came out in that set. Arguably, will we ever see him again? I'm not too sure. There are rumors of him. I would assume probably showing up in Andor at some point. Uh, probably closer to you know the Rogue One timeline. So more than likely in season two and not season one. So there's a potential. You know, if K2SO becomes a bigger character, say in season two, uh, that we might see him in a set eventually again. But at the moment, uh, and like I said, I think Rogue One is a fantastic movie. A lot of these characters, you know, they did a really good job of making us care about them within like a two-hour movie. So uh, you know, a lot of people like K2SO definitely. A more rare droid came out in a you know expensive set back then uh the most expensive of the wave and uh, nonetheless guys very understandable why this guy is this price and uh, let's move on to the next one guys which also came out in the exact same set so moving on to number two, guys, we actually got Director Krennic himself, uh, you know, came on the Krennic shuttle, of course, back in 2016. Uh, right now, you're, you're paying about $50 used and about $65 to $70 for a new one. And uh, again, very understandable, uh, very nice villain. Uh, you know, if you guys want him for your Imperial Army, uh, you know, it's definitely just a very solid minifigure, you know. I'll say it again, you know, Rogue One did a very good job of making us care about these characters. And, uh, you know, for anyone making a Rogue One-based mock or, like I said, an Imperial Army, they definitely want that Director Krennic. And uh, again, with him being in such an expensive set back then uh, you know he was always a little bit more expensive but now it goes to show why he is actually number two but the number one guys is actually a lot more expensive so let's get into it all right, guys, and here we are at number one. Moving on to the big boy right here, we got Bail Organa himself. He came out in the 2019 uh, Tantive IV. He's going for about $80 to $90 used right now, and you're going to be paying at least $100, if not a little bit more, for a brand new condition one. Uh, this is one where, uh, you know, it took many, many years. took basically 14 years for us to get a Bail Organa. And uh, this one, they knocked it out of the park, I feel. You know, really based off that Rogue One outfit, and they did a really nice job. Excellent face print. That olive green cape is obviously, you know, pretty rare. And uh, nonetheless, guys, that explains why he's number one. I don't doubt we'll eventually see Bail Organa again. I would assume in a different outfit though. So luckily, you know, this one's always going to kind of, you know, again, fetch that individual premium for everyone that actually wants one of every Star Wars minifigure ever made, uh, since we'll never see this exact guy ever again. But let's close out the video, guys. So you guys, as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I've got my five expensive Rogue One set video coming out later this week if you guys want to check that out and see, you know, kind of what the sets are going for these days uh, as a whole. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching again. I'll see you guys all in the next one i got a giveaway a huge giveaway actually coming out tomorrow so uh, stay tuned for that be sure to enter that giveaway and uh, yeah i'll see you guys all then bye guys and stay safe